Uh, we now want to go to NBC News Justice reporter Ryan Riley, who just got off the phone uh, during an FBI briefing. What, what did you learn from officials? So we're dealing with very preliminary information here, and I think that's what we should emphasize up front. All of this is subject to change as this investigation develops, as the FBI absorbs new information they're receiving, and as they hopefully get access to the cell phone uh, of the device of the individual who uh, is, has been identified as a suspect here. Here's what the FBI says preliminarily. They have not yet identified an underlying ideology at the moment, but the investigation is in its early stages. There's no indication of mental health issues, and that's only at the moment. That could change as things go on. The FBI has received 2,600 tips already. This is being act investigated as an act of domestic terrorism. The FBI is still working to get access to the subject's phone and is being shipped to a lab for additional exploitation. The FBI is still working to get access to the subject's phone. Sorry, repeating that. The weapon is believed to have been purchased by his father. There's no indications right now of how he got the weapon. That's the latest of the preliminary information from the FBI. Back to you, Katie. It was also an AR-style 556 rifle that they've identified it as before. We just had semi-automatic rifle. Now we know uh, the style of it. Still working on a motive. There are bomb specialists that have secured the uh, suspicious device that was was found in the suspect's car that's being sent to Quantico for further examination. And again, as Ryan pointed out, they also did find a phone on him. Uh, no IDs on him, but they found a phone on him. And they're working to, to get the information from that phone. Um, Ryan, in past scenarios, when they've needed to get access to a phone, have the, um, the phone manufacturers, Apple, Verizon, et cetera, et cetera, been able to, to help unlock these things? It's gotten more complicated. Um, that's been a problem in previous years with issues of encryption, but that issue is still sort of up in the air right now, Katie. I think that's going to be something the lab is going to be taking a very close look at. Okay, and again, nothing on motive, nothing on mental health. We heard, though, a little bit earlier from a classmate of his. Remember, this shooter, this alleged shooter, is 20 years old, was 20 years old, just out of high school, only a couple years. Um, and his former classmate, high school classmate, said that he was incessantly bullied, often ate alone in the cafeteria. But again, as of now, all preliminary information, they are not pointing to any history of mental health officials. And President Biden said a little bit earlier as well that that the family of the alleged shooter is cooperating with law enforcement. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.